programme is about leadership in normal times. Sometimes life can seem just like plain sailing. In this programme we'll be talking to a number of guests who have experience in leading in normal times. We'll then be going to a leadership training centre in the Lake District. We'll be looking in much more detail at all aspects relating to leadership in normal times. Is less leadership and more management required in these normal times? Um, I think if you're running something that's going well, it's going at ticking over, you can probably get away with, with very little over leadership. Uh, the issue is where do you go from here? If that's all you have to deliver, then that's absolutely fine. And I think if, if you've got more potential than that, you either walk away from that and say, I need another job, mm -hmm. um, or you say, well, I'm going to change what we're doing here. Well, Monday morning's a classic, isn't it? You either get in with Monday morning syndrome and go, oh, God, it's the start of the week, it's the worst day, and what is it, Wednesday's the worst day of the week because it's the furthest away from both weekends. You know, have treats for your staff, have a, have a Monday morning meeting, have an incentive, have a motivational half hour where people can have a bit of a laugh. Laughter creates a lot of energy. Use it. Well, there's a, a, a great example here from Nelson during the Trafalgar campaign from 1803 to 1805. He was hanging out in the Mediterranean for two years without hardly ever going ashore or, his, or any of the crews of his ships, waiting for the, for the French fleet to come out of, uh, out of port or searching for them here, there and the other place, sustaining a sense of significance, importance, people away from home all that time. How did he do it? Well, he put an awful lot of effort into continuously improving their operations, into re re continuously repairing and developing the ships, trying out new technology, new ways of dealing with guns, new ways of sailing, dealing with the boat. Even if they're normal times, you want to put in exceptional performance or you, you want your company to put in exceptional performance. And all I'm doing the whole time is competing with our peer group. So even if we're over target or we're doing well and we hit target, it gives me absolutely no satisfaction at all if other companies have done better during those same times. Except that for a lot of organisations there's a perception that if there's normal times business as usual. I don't think anybody accepts that there are normal times. I think if, if everything in the whole industry that you're in is going completely normally then you set your own competition because you always want, you're striving aren't you, you always want to be bigger, better, brighter than you were yesterday. And if, if normal times means doing just as well as we did this time last year, then forget it. That's not what it's about. It's about growth, it's about excitement, it's about passion. Yeah, there was a great example of this when I first joined BT and we were had just been privatised. Um, the senior management at the time created marketing teams, sales teams that were, com you could argue, were completely unnecessary because there was no competition the yes. day after privatisation. But the senior management had the foresight to create the sales teams, create the marketing teams. And when yes. the competition did finally get off the ground, they were two years behind. Mm -hmm. BT was already there. Yeah, and, you know, it annoyed the regulator at the time because it took, you know, <laughs> true competition a while to take off. But I'd always remember that. The senior management had huge vision and they were ahead of the environment that everyone was thinking about today. Yeah. Thank you.